This is an event we've never done anything like this before. This is really cool. A couple weeks ago, we started having some conversations in our class about things that are going on in the world and some feelings that we have about different issues. And today, the kids are going to be sharing their opinions and their ideas and what they see happening in our world. Next up is Carly Ross. Hi, I'm Carly Ross, and I'm here to tell you what can make a difference in the world. I always overheard my mom talking about when she was younger and how she had donated her hair three times. The day before she donated her hair th the, this last time, I had a play date with my very best friend, Kennedy McPherson. She also decided that she was going to donate her hair because she heard my mom talking about it. I asked my mom, why do people want to donate hair? She said some people have cancer and sometimes lose their hair because of the medicine they take. They fight to, to fight the cancer actually makes them lose their hair. There, was, there are also some people that have a disease called alopecia. Alopecia is a disease where your hair falls out. Think about it. What if you had bald hair? How would you feel? My big cousin, Hannah, who was in college, just found out that she had alopecia. It has been a very scary time for her. She has lost several patches of hair, and she is only 19 years old. After you donate your hair, you put it in a Ziploc bag and then mail it to a special place that makes wigs out of donated hair. Then the people who want a wig because they have cancer or alopecia can get a real can get a wig with real beautiful hair that comes from people who donate their hair. After hearing all about why people donate their hair, I asked my mom, can I donate my hair too? Maybe, said, mom, said my mom with a smirk on her face. The next day while my mom was out to go donate her hair, she asked me if I wanted to come with. Of course, I answered with excitement. When we were finally at the salon, the hairdresser needed to cut my mom's hair. After being there with my mom, she got her when she got her hair chopped, I knew I wanted to do the exact same thing. I'm not sure your hair is long enough, Carly, right now to donate. Carly, my mom said, but I was patient patient and determined to grow it out. So each month that went by, I would ask, my mom to measure my pigtails six inches six and a half inches seven inches seven and a half inches eight inches finally the time came when my pigtails were long enough to donate my mom set up an appointment at vincent salon for needed to cut my hair when i was sitting in the chair at the salon while i was waiting i was feeling kind of nervous but but when the moment came i felt excited to do to cut my hair while Nita was cutting my hair, I was excited for people with cancer or alopecia to finally have the hair that d they deserve. Goodbye, and thanks for listening.